This robotic device is inducing hallucinations inside participants' minds. Scientists in Switzerland invented it in a bid to help design better therapies for patients with Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's patients often experience a condition called presence hallucinations. Presence hallucination is these strange sensations of feeling someone which is behind you or close to you when there is actually no one. The research team at the Eco Polytechnique Federal de Lausanne, or EPFL, says patients experiencing hallucinations tend to overestimate the number of people in the room. Using a combination of virtual reality and robotics, the team has developed a device that can simulate the hallucinations effect of overcounting people. PhD student at EPFL's NeuroX Institute, Louis-Philippe Albert, explains how the system works. So it's composed of two robots, what with one which is in front of the participants and one position in the back of the participants. So the participant is asked to perform a movement with his right arm, so and the robot in the back is actually reproducing this movement, either in synchrony, so with zero second of delay between the movement on the front and the movement of the robot in the back. There is a second condition that we call asynchronous condition, where we add a delay between the movement of the front and the movement in the back. When we add this delay, that's when we arrive to induce this presence hallucination so in all participants. The research involved 170 Parkinson's patients, 69 of whom experienced present hallucinations. Researchers say the results indicate patients with present hallucinations overestimate counts more than those without hallucinations. There is currently no cure for Parkinson's, which affects more than 10 million people worldwide. The disease causes progressive brain damage. Common symptoms are tremors, stiffness, while dementia is seen in some patients. Researchers hope the innovative approach could help diagnose and monitor patients at risk of cognitive decline. Professor Olaf Blanke leads EPFL's Laboratory of Cognitive Neuroscience. So our general outlook of this is, can we detect this uh, dementia with Lewy bodies or hallucinations in Parkinson's disease as a trait 10 years, 20 years before the disease becomes manifest? because then one could collaborate and empower um, disease-modifying therapies that hope to prolong the onset of the disease by 10, 20, 30 or more years. So you can't cure the disease, but you prevent um, or you hope that the Parkinson disease would only onset at the age of 100 or 110. In a sense, it's a relative cure in, in, in this sense.